This is Mandy and Twister at the TLC Clinic, October 24th, 2015. I'm going to let them both go through regular and then do a slow play review. On the left is the morning, on the right is the afternoon. <laughs> that was just awesome, the difference from morning to afternoon and just the hustle. So, way to go. And now I'm going to go ahead and put them in slow play and send them back through again. Oh, I'm trying to get them even with each other. So, let me stop there and speed this one up. Whoops, the other way. So that way they're taking off exactly the same time. Of course, she's definitely going to be smoking on the other one. Alright, so I'm going to put it in slow motion and start it back up. And um, I'll pause it here. Now, in the morning and the afternoon, you still were looking at the same position. Um, but if you'll notice, she's actually already starting over here to start hunting in on her barrel. And out here, you might have actually been just slightly out more than you were here. Not by much, but you can see the difference in her. She's more relaxed and collected here, and you're hustling her more, and she's really starting to stride out more. So you actually get to the barrel quicker. One, two on the right. One, two, one, two. But see the difference just in the speed? You had two strides of rate on the right and two strides of rate on the left. One, two, and then pause. And then both, both if you notice them both, you really lay them back in the turn for her. This one you sat up a little bit more. You're hustling her more um, in the afternoon on the right versus the morning. Uh, but she comes in nice. You can really see the difference in her. One, two, and look at the hustle from you um, in the afternoon when you get right here. You're already thinking, all right, let's drive. And what I like about it is you stay seated for her right there. And you even sit on the right and help her finish until you're clear. And then that's when you start to get up and hustle her. And she's still kind of, oh, am I supposed to go? And then if you'll notice, too, in the left, she didn't swap her lead. But on the right, she did right away. First straight out, she's already swapped her lead. So that looks really good. Um, she never did swap her lead in the morning till she got there. And that was the difference between a slow lope and a run. So again, let's just watch the video on the right. Um, you can see just by hustling her how much sooner you're getting to the barrel. One, two strides or eight on the video on the right. One, two, almost two and a half to get out. But see, that little step off cost her. And it's, it's not bad. You're going in pretty good. But right here, she just kind of lets her hip get out. And she comes back like a rollback. So possibly what we could do here. Um, you're trying to help her finish right there. And uh, in actuality, because it's, uh, it's kind of like she's losing her forward motion, she's letting her hip get out and she's coming out wide. So we could probably take this pocket um, and just trim it down just a little bit going in because she's so little and compact. And see how low she gets in the front end? So... I mean, you're, you're really getting your toe down into the ground here. So you could go ahead and do that. And then, see, right there when you bring her back, because you have all this extra pocket over here, she's almost on top of the barrel when you come around. So if we just bring you in, instead of being out here, bring it in a little bit closer, then she can get around the barrel without having to get in too tight back here and step off coming out. So I'm going to let that go into regular play. And see, that's what she does. You lift her up with your inside hand, but then she takes a little step off. So a little lighter on the inside hand, a little bit more outside leg. Maybe just a foot less pocket would look really good. But look at that third barrel. Boom, she gets in, she gets out. That was sweet. So awesome. So that little step off cost you leaving second barrel. But way to go, the difference between the morning and the afternoon. And... Um, just awesome job on her today. So what I'd like to see you do is um, continue with drills with her, like um, drills that she gets comfortable, uh, like the corkscrew we did today, where she gets comfortable keeping her shoulder up and her hip under and then go back down and keep her, and this small one is the most important one, that she gets 
gets tight in there, keeping her butt under her. So corkscrews would be good for her. Um, another drill, I think for her to keep picking up her shoulders would be all lefts, all rights. That way she won't get bored. You can even actually have four barrels out um, and just sporadically put them out. And you're just going to go ahead and keep her shoulder up or hip under and get her to work smaller pockets and really over finish these barrels. Um, all lefts, all rights, and then roll back and do it again that way. And just stay, you know, like no somewhere between three and five feet off the barrel at a trot and a lope and just make her really work um, instead of just doing the plain old straight pattern. Um, just something to help her finish that second barrel better. But good job, and I know she gets bored quick, so just changing her drills up would be good for her. You can even just do it out in the pasture, pasture loops. Go straight, do a circle, go out straight, do a circle, go out straight, do a circle, and just do this out in the pasture um, where she doesn't even really know what you're doing to her, but work on good form, picking up the shoulder, hip under, and make her turn a small circle like you're going around a barrel and then you know go the other way and do it the other way so that would be where i would start with her wonderful job you did so awesome and uh thank you for coming